It pays to have knife friends. What's going on, guys? Carter here with Edge Mindset. There we go. Now it's official. Uh, we got another box in from my buddy Ian. He sent me another, I believe there's two knives in here. And if I remember right, they're both very cool, and they're both knives that I have never experienced. One is newer, and one is older-ish. And so I'm really excited to check these out. Always appreciate it when people send me stuff to look at and do content on. And we got a note. We got a note. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the knives in here. One in particular has become one of my favorites. I know which one that is because I talk to Ian all the time. There's also an extra knife that I'm sure you'll be pleased about. Have fun, my friend. I didn't want to show that just in case there was a dirty picture or something. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I was not expect. Ooh, there's three in here. I was thinking there was going to be two. We've got three awesome knives. Three awesome knives going on. Let's do this one. This is the one I was not expecting. Uh, this is the Flytanium Arcade. And uh, I've been wanting to check this one out. It's got the Snex lock on it. Um, wow, this is a really cool one. Look at those inlays. Now, I don't... I was not expecting this knife to come in at all. So I know very little about this. Obviously, it's an in-house made knife from Flytanium. Uh, overseas OEM, I think it's pretty obvious that that would be the case. Deep carry pocket clip there. These inlays are dope. Uh, I think this is titanium based on the weight and the color we have here. Uh, it's got to be titanium. Let's, let's, let's do a weight. Why not? Let's do a weight. I'll read it to you in case you can't see it. 3.9 ounces. Very nice. Very, very nice. And this is probably titanium too, milled. That is really cool. I don't know if that texture is kind of coming through on the camera there. That looks really, really nice. Here's the Snex lock. Easy to use. It's basically the same thing as the Shark lock. Uh, just the internal way in which it engages with the blade is different, right? The Shark lock does, the shark lock does to the Snex lock as the triad lock did to the normal lock back, right? And inserts a pin in between the surfaces that distributes the weight and the uh, robustness throughout the entire frame instead of just relying on the two contact points. Um, but yeah, that's not the point of this video. Really nice action, really flicky, especially for this type of lock because you don't have that super crispy, you know, strong detent. It's a little more... You know, all of this is detent right here. So sometimes it can be a little harder to flick this style as well as like the crossbar lock. But this one is money. I keep seeing that logo and I keep thinking it's a Benchmade. What is that? Looks like a, a bug skull and crossbones with wings, which is interesting. I wonder if that's supposed to be a play on Benchmade because it really looks like Really looks like a butterfly from far away. Flytanium, what do we got here? S35VN. I was expecting M390, so that's cool. Nice draw point blade. Really cool, really cool. Can't wait to try this one out. Um, and by try out, I just mean play with it. Ian, I am not going to do anything crazy with your knives. They are safe with me. Let's move on to this next one. Scope it. Oh, okay, so... Let's do this one last, because this is Ian's, like, this is his baby. He was so excited about this one, and he was really excited uh, for me to check it out. So we will do this one last. We'll move on to this one. This is a Protec, obviously. This is the Mordax, and it's not just any Mordax. Mordox? Mordax. This has the bronze, this is bronze, right? Bronze uh, handles here. Uh, I don't think that's copper. It's got to be bronze, right? Blade Show Atlanta 2024, number 104 of 150, Magna Cut, woo, button lock, designed by Ferrum Forge. Really nice action, though. Very buttery, very drop shutty, very flicky, and it has that um, Ferrum Forge look to it. What I like about Ferrum Forge, I used to own a real one, I think like a million years ago back when they were kind of a youngish type company. Uh, I used to have one of those. And one of the things that I really like about Firm Forge is they have this subtle, obvious design language. Like it's, it's probably the best example of the concept I'm thinking of. 
um, is with Ferrum Forge Knights, where um, you can identify it. Like, I see this, and I'm like, this is a Ferrum Forge Knife. But there's not anything, like, overtly crazy about it, right? It's, it's very much a Ferrum Forge design, but it's also very much a very simple kind of basic design. And so what I'm getting at is they're able to, like, with very small design features, like the way they do their choil, the way they do their flipper, the, the overall shapes they like to use. Um, it's crazy that it can be as distinct it is, as it is without being some bonkers, you know, <laughs> obvious, obvious thing like... You know, Medford very much does some pretty crazy design stuff. And so obviously it's easy to see a Medford because they do stuff like this and this that's very much Medfordy, this really high pivot. You know, you can point to some very obvious things to say, that's got to be a Medford. It screams Medford. Uh, but Ferrum Forge does it a lot more subtly. They tow that line very, very nice. We've got pearl insert on the button there bronze scales with this cool pattern in there nice knife deep carry pocket clip there's the shield for ferrum forge the double f's very cool very cool this is a very popular knife design and i almost picked one up a few different times but i just i just never quite did and then i uh moved on to other things you know how that goes so cool that i get to check that out i'm gonna play with it um Get to know it a little bit. I like the weight on here. I don't want to add a bunch of patina to it, so I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be handling it too much. I don't want to send it back to Ian with a bunch of patina on the handle. So uh, very sparingly, I will kind of uh, get to know this knife a little bit more and maybe do a, a follow-up video on it. So let's move to the big one, the the big boy. This is called. What is this called? Oh my gosh, what is this called? I looked it up right before I started filming, and now that I've talked about these other knives, I cannot remember what this is called. It's got a very funky name. Let's see if it says it on there. I don't see it. Blackbird Blades. I'm gonna have to put it in the title. I can't believe it. I, I looked it up and I'm like, cool. I know the title, I know the name. I know it's OEM by Best Tech. I cannot remember right now for the life of me what the name of this knife is. Uh, you obviously know it because it's gonna be in the description, it's gonna be in the title. But Ian is in love with this thing and I can see why. These grind lines are absolutely sick. I like contrasty blades um, to a certain degree. Some knives I like it on, some I don't. I don't really like the way Microtech does the two-tone. Something about it just bugs me. And I don't like how Microtech's black finish is, is pretty weak and it comes off super easily. But when it's got like some texture, like the black finish on here, how it has that kind of uh, gravelly type texture, I think it looks really nice. These grind lines that are prominent but not crazy are really, really nice. Um, also, this blade shape, that tip is bonkers. Look at that. That is a nasty tip that you could do a lot of crazy things with. Uh, let me try to thumb flick this. Can't really do it. Can't really do the thumb flick. This is a reverse flick monster. Uh, no rear flipper, no front flipper. Pretty much reverse flick only. And that's what Ian told me, I believe. He is like, this is like a reverse flicker. And it flicks like crazy. Bearings. Uh, oh, so, um, yeah, Blackbird, Blackbird Blades. He's a custom knife maker here in the U.S. who does primarily fixed blades and leather work. This is his first folder, I believe, and it is uh, outsourced OEM, like I said, to um, uh, Best Tech. So this is kind of his first. There's a little bit of, <laughs> little bit of fuzz in there. Uh, this is the first knife that he has done, first folder, sorry, that he has done. Um, and it looks pretty cool. You got this awesome cross milling pattern here, 3D milled pocket clip, backspacer where all of this lines up. That's pretty cool. Very good looking knife. Let's get a weight on this one. I didn't do the Mordax. We'll do the, the Mordax here in a minute. Uh, I'm thinking pretty light, 3.6 ounces, so that's nice. This one's a beefy boy, 5.9 ounces because of the uh, the bronze bronze handles there. Uh, let's see, what else we got going on here? We got some nice jimping, very functional, very nice, very comfortable, good sized blade. Let's compare it to this right here. A little bit smaller than a PM2, 
Uh, so really good size for EDC. Um, obviously way lighter than this guy. I wonder, okay, squirrel, ADHD, what's the weight on, uh, on this guy? 7.2, wow, PM2 is way heavier than this guy right there. Um, these are some very thick and beefy scales. That's pretty crazy though. I thought they would have been a little bit, a little bit closer. I guess they're not too far off, but uh, definitely heavier, heavier on that PM2 with the uh, the copper scales. And that's also a good example of bronze versus copper. This one has a little more patina on it, so it's darker, uh, but you can clearly see the difference in base color between bronze and and copper there. So. Uh, kind of cool, kind of cool. Very nice. Ooh, I really like that. I like this chamfer on the lock cut out there. Really easy to get to. Very nice action. Can't wait to play with this one a little bit more. Formulate my opinion on that bad boy. Let me know in the comment down below, comments down below, which one of these three grabs your attention the most? Which one do you like the most? Which one are you more inclined to pick up and purchase yourself? Just curious, based on seeing them here, uh, all very similarly sized, which is interesting. Comment down below. Thanks for everybody for tuning in and participating. I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out.